Welcome to this section in Mastering Elasticsearch 5.0 entitled Security. In this section, we start off by looking at the two key elements of Elasticsearch security. Authentication and authorization. Next, we look at the User Management API. Afterwards, we go into authorization via role-based access. We then move into the important steps of protecting node-to-node -node communication through encryption. And finally, we learn how to leverage IP filtering to control traffic inflow. Welcome to this video in Learning Elasticsearch 5.0 entitled Authentication and Authorization. Before jumping into authentication and the associated user management API used to manage the native realm, which we'll cover soon, it's very important that we properly set up our production cluster to handle authentication by establishing a super user or individual with the rights to set up other users, make and assign roles, etc. In layman's terms, this person is a top end administrator. To handle this, Elasticsearch via XPAC provides what are known as built in users. If you set up XPAC before, you've seen this user with the name Elastic and the password Change Me. That's the default password. Needless to say, you must change this password in production. Built in users are applied to Elasticsearch, Kibana, and Logstash. The default names are Elastic, Kibana, and Logstash underscore system. One final point about built in users is that. They are not stored in the user index in Elasticsearch. Instead, built-in users are stored in an index aptly named security. Also note that changes to these users are reflected throughout the clusters and on each node. Again, this is separate from the users we'll be adding to our cluster through the native realm. First, it's important that we change the default passwords for our built-in users. To reiterate, Super user accounts are for top end admin use only, and therefore, very few people should ever have access to these credentials. The following simple API calls allows you to change the default passwords for built in users. So, while being logged in as the built in user and from the Kibana Dev Tools area, you can actually use the API to change the passwords. This is the one for the Elastic user in Elasticsearch. This is how you would change it. And this is how you would change the password for Kibana. Note that once you change the passwords for Kibana and Logstash, you will also need to update their respective YML configuration files. Very important. So here you go to the Kibana.yml file and you update the Elasticsearch.password to the new Kibana password. And again, same with Logstash. You go to the location of the Logstash configuration file and you go to the XPAC monitoring Elasticsearch password setting and you put the password there. Before going into production mode, it is of utmost importance that the default password functionality also be disabled. Most security breaches actually occur as a direct result of weak passwords or Default passwords not being changed. By setting the value of xpac.security.alt.c.accept underscore default underscore password in Elasticsearch.yml configuration file to false, you in effect protect your cluster from such occurrences. Let's take a quick step back. When thinking of Elasticsearch security, three general areas are thoroughly covered. One, Blocking unauthorized access. Two, maintaining data integrity. And three, keeping an audit trail to stay aware of all cluster activities and interactions. Authentication is used in Elasticsearch to prevent unauthorized access to the cluster. At the most basic level, authentication simply verifies that the person is, in fact, who they claim to be. In addition to the standalone authentication incorporated in XPAC, Elasticsearch is equipped to directly interface with pre-existing security constructs, such as LDAP, 
Active Directory, and PKI. Securing an Elasticsearch cluster is a multi-level undertaking. At the most basic level, user authentication must be implemented. This dictates who can and cannot access your cluster. Beyond authentication, you will want to police what people can do when logged in. For instance, certain people should have access to a given index, while others shouldn't. Elasticsearch implements RBAC, which is the acronym for Role Based Access Control, to handle this more granular security requirement. More specifically, RBAC in Elasticsearch allows you to control access at the index, document, or even field level.